assalamu alaikum my name is sobe shakil and the topic we are going to cover today is translation we will do translation of six tenses present and past simple present and past continuous and present and past perfect tense so let us start our lecture we will start with simple present tense we will first see what are the urdu indications the urdu sentences of simple present tense end at ta hai ti hai te hai like if you see the sentence wo sab ki baat sunta hai it is ending at ta hai it means it is a simple present tense the verb which we are going to use while translating a simple present tense sentence is the first form of the verb or the infinitive form of the verb so the translation is he listens to everyone here listens is the first form or the infinitive form of the verb the negative and interrogative sentences also end at either ta hai te hai or ti hai the verb which we use for negative and interrogative sentences is the same as we use for the simple sentences that is the infinitive form or the first form of the verb with that we use the helping verb either do or does we use do when we have a plural subject and we use does when the subject is singular the first sentence is wo kisi se nafrat nahi karta hai it is ending at karta hai it means it is a simple present tense it is a negative sentence so we have to put not the translation is he does not hate anyone we have used does here because of the subject he which is a singular subject second sentence is kya mahi gir machliyan pakadte hain it it is ending at te hai it means it is a simple present tense if you see it is in a question form so we have to start it with either do or does here we are using do because the fisherman is plural and the translation is do the fisherman catch fish the next tense is simple past tense the urdu sentences of simple past tense and at alif badi a or choti a and the verb to be used is second form of the verb or the past form you already know about the verb which is to be used as you already learned it in tenses the sentence wo school gaya which is ending at alif can be translated as he went to school if you see it is ending at alif indicating it is a simple past tense and we have used when translating we have used the second form of go that is went in the translation for negative and interrogative sentences the urdu indications do not change as it can be seen by the two sentences usne walden ka hukam na mana aur usne kaagaz kyu phada if you see both the sentences are ending at alif it means they both are of simple past tense here while translating one thing is very important to be kept in mind that is which main verb is to be used in the sentence we do use did but with did we use the first form or the infinitive form of the verb you see we do use second form when it is a simple sentence but when doing the negative and interrogative sentences that second form changes into the first form this is why the translation of usne walden ka hukam na mana is he did not obey the parents it we use not because it is a negative sentence and we have used the infinitive form obey second sentence usne kaagaz kyu phada can be translated as why did he tear the page as it is an interrogative sentence so did is at the start of the sentence and with did we use the infinitive form tear now it's time for some practice four sentences are given you have to translate these into english how you are going to do that you will first identify the tense by seeing the last word the word then see if it is a simple negative or an interrogative sentence and then you have to translate you have 45 seconds for this task
your time is up now these are the answers the next tense is present continuous tense the urdu indications for present continuous tense are raha hai rahi hai rahe hain it means your urdu sentences will end in either of these indications the main verb which we use for present continuous tense is the present participle which is the first form of the verb with ing and with that we use the helping verbs is am or are the translation for police qatil ke piche bhag rahi hai is the police are running after the murderer we have used running as a present participle and with that we have used a helping verb are for negative and interrogative sentences again the urdu indications will not change your sentences will end at either raha hai rahi hai or rahe hain the only difference will be in case of negative sentences we are going to put not in the sentence and in the case of interrogative sentences we are just going to change the change the position of the helping verb is am are from the middle of the sentence to the start of the sentence like the first sentence is main usko raz nahi bata raha hu it is indicate raha hu it is a negative sentence so the translation is i am not telling him the secret for the interrogative kya tum khabre sun rahe ho it is a question sentence so the helping verb are is at the start are you listening to the news and if you see in both the sentences we have used ing with the main form of the verb like telling uh, for the first verb tell an ing and listen an ing for the second sentence after the present continuous tense the next tense is the past continuous tense the urdu indications for past continuous tense are raha tha rahe the rahi thi the main verb which we are going to use in the past continuous tense is the same as we used in the present continuous tense that is the present participle the only difference in the translation of the present and past continuous tense will be in the change of the helping verbs instead of the helping verb is am are here we are going to use the helping verb was and were the urdu sentence is tum ko kahani suna rahe the it is ending at rahe the it means it is a past continuous tense and the translation is you were telling the story for the negative sentence we are going to put not and for the interrogative one we are going to put was and were at the start of the sentence with the same indication the negative sentence is ladka sawal hal kar nahi kar raha tha its translation is the boy was not solving the question with the present participle solving and the helping verb was The second sentence is क्या गरीब बच्ची चीख रही थी It is an interrogative sentence. So the translation is was the poor girl screaming with the present participle screaming and was as a helping verb at the start. Few more sentences for you to do. What you have to do is there are five sentences. You have to do the same thing. You have to read the sentences, see the indication, find the correct tense, find out whether the sentences are simple, negative, or interrogative, and then translate it. You have the same time that is forty five seconds. the answers are
next let us move to the present perfect tense there are two indications for present perfect tense your urdu sentences may end at chuka hai chuki hai chuke hain aur your urdu sentence may also end at ali badi hai choti hai and with ali badi hai choti hai we can have hai aur hai the verb to be used for the present perfect tense is the past participle which is also called the third form of the verb and with that we have to use two helping verbs either has or have let us see the sentence the urdu sentence is usne kahani likh li hai this sentence is ending at li hai it means it is ending at choti hai or hai it means it is a present perfect tense and the translation is he has written the story we have used the past participle if you see which is the third form of the verb and with that we have used has because of the subject he moving on to its negative and interrogative sentences for negative sentences we are going to put not and for the interrogative one we are going to take has and have from the middle of the sentence to the start of the sentence उसने किताब नहीं फाड़ी है इट कैन बी ट्रांसलेटेड एज ही हैज़ नॉट टॉन द बुक हेयर टॉन इज योर पास पार्टिसिपल विद द हेल्पिंग वर्ब हैज इन सेकेंड सेंटेंस क्या तुम काम ख़त्म कर चुके हो इट इज़ एन इंट्रोगेटिव सेंटेंस सो आई देर हैज़ और हैव शुड बी एट द स्टार्ट सो द ट्रांसलेशन इज हैव यू फिनिश द वर्क हैव इज़ एट द स्टार्ट एंड फिनिश इज द पास पार्टिसिपल Moving on to the last tense of translation, that is past perfect tense. Just like we did for present perfect, there are two indications for past perfect tense. That is, chuka tha, chuki thi, chuke the, or ali badi and choti. And with ali badi and choti, you will have tha, thi, or the. The form of verb which we are going to use is past 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 participle, and with past participle, you are going to use had. लड़कियाँ पहले ही गीत गा चुकी थी. If you see this sentence, it is ending at chuki thi and the translation is the girls had already sung songs sung is your past participle and had is the helping verb which we use in the past perfect tense as the helping verb which we use for past perfect tenses had so when we are going to do the negative sentences we are going to use not with the helping verb had like wo mulazimat ke liye darkhwast nahi de chuka tha its translation is he had not applied for the job we have used had not and applied as the past participle and for the interrogative we are going to take had at the start of the sentence with the past participle kya ila shuru hone se pehle mareez mar chuka tha its translation is had the patient died before the treatment started had is at the start of the sentence and died is your past participle it is time for your final practice now there are five sentences this time the sentences are of mixed tenses the sentences are of present indefinite present perfect present continuous past indefinite past continuous and past perfect the instructions are the same and the time is also the same that is 45 seconds these are the final answers it is the end of today's lecture thank you